So Spirit, tell us a little bit about what's this Ace of Pentacle and or Ace of Cup here. If you can, try to be as specific as possible, warranted that everything's going to be different for everybody. What is this Ace of Pentacle? Okay, there you go. What did I say earlier in the Aquarius reading, the reading just before this? I said Shades and Illusions to the World card, which was coming out big this whole past last week. And now, bango, bingo, bammo, she's out here again. And this is really that graduation, next step, stepping up, completion. Checked off all the seals of all the fixed sign energy here and walked through this this kind of gate, this door, this doorway. So there will be a new offer in, uh, you know, um, indelibly tied to this is, is what I think here. Um, let's explain a little bit more after I ask what this Ace of Cup is. Spirit, what's this Ace of Cup? Yeah, this is stability. This is an offer that brings stability here to build off of this five of pentacle here. This could also be read as the number 12, um, which, and the five, that's 17. So that's eight of pentacles. So eight of pentacles is the job offer energy here. This could also be read as three, plus four, seven, plus eight. That's eight of pentacle energy. So this feels like you're actually stepping in a new chapter. Work is coming to your doorstep here. And this is this new job or this new gig or this new opportunity, which is gonna, again, resonate in this slow, stable energy. That's what the Knight of Pentacles, that's, that's what the Four of Pentacles is, is going to mark you moving on to this next chapter with the World card here. A little bit more on this World card here, Spirit. Yeah, this is this is almost as if you are graduating where you're at here and now as a result. Uh, you held out. You were a stalwart here, and it's actually paying off now. Um, Spirit is acknowledging uh, and paying you off now, it feels like. See these golden backgrounds here? It's because you were building this charge up, and funny enough... This is the slowest moving night in the deck, but it's slow moving because it brings a world of stability. So this next Eight of Pentacle energy that we added up here, this took so freaking long because Spirit wanted to let you know, now this is something that you could build a legacy off of. This is something that you could grow a family off of, generational type shit that we're talking about here. So I think that that's why that this became very kind of stable yet slow moving again to reflect in the upside down world here this hangman energy is the volt charge you see the golden background semblances of electric electron energy remember the theme was that when we were in the suspended this is giving illusions to the man upside down the hanged man in the tarot which is stagnant stalwart waiting around energy 3.14 on the clock as i say that pi energy um, pie in the sky, right? Uh, your head's in the clouds, but not seeing the actual action around you. But this is saying that because even though you were thinking that nothing was happening, you were building this charge to eventually be pole vaulted, bang, into the next chapter uh, of, of uh, you know, it feels like Genesis, right, in the Bible. It feels like just the beginning now here. Anything else here on this world card? And then the four cups in the upright. This is actually exciting energy. I love it. I love it. It took forever because it was worth it, right? So anything that comes in quick usually leaves quick. Whereas this, you actually, you know, did your time for this right here. For this crime, so to speak. But it's actually a blessing. It's a gift here. Anything else on this world card in the upright? woo Bingo, bango. Like I said, what did I say about the Knight of Pentacles? to build generations on, to build legacy on, to feed a family on. That's what this blessing is. That's what this big old lump of awaiting charge, voltage, building, 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 building. It could have felt like you've been doing this for the past two or three years, but that's what this is. That's why it took so long because you really had to clear your way, your path, your energy from those fair weather friends and people and family four for four in the clock to see who was really about you, who was really for you, right? And to see where everyone's true colors lay because when you begin to build your foundation, your house, right? The house that you built, right? 
opposite a house of cards. This is a house of, you know, real, right, and true bricks of stability that will hold house generations for, you know, to come. So very awesome energy that's tracking. It's right up my alley. I really feel it. I'm really excited about it. Four cup in the upright. Anything else on this here, Spirit? You really also kind of were in this meditation phase. This situation, uh, you know, brought you to the point of becoming a little bit of a spiritual monk yourself here. And it did involve having to say bye to a lot of fair weather people, a lot of fair weather relationships. I could have really done a number on you. But all of that balances and cancels out to a new relationship, a new connection in the works. This is summertime energy. This is also two weeks notice here. Anything else here, Spirit, on this two cup in the upright? Yeah, see, what did I say? This wants to cancel out to turn this, right? Two minus on the four in the upright leaves us with the two in the upright. That brings you out of this not receptive energy, right? Um, this is actually an open hearted energy. Okay, not to say that this was not receptive, but this was more of a single uh, individual here, okay? and his own kind of personal emotional stability. This is more so having to open up to let this other individual in. We could also say that this points to two in the upright offsets four in the reverse. That points to another two in the upright, which again points to what? This ace of cup that we spoke to earlier, right? The single cup is the ace cup, right? Someone could have bailed on you because they felt like there was a third party. That third party, typically, and this could be a past karmic relationship, would have been something that they were not in alignment with. If it was spiritual path quality that we're talking about, that would have meant that would have, meant that that would have been calling them out on their bullshit, right? It almost was revealing to you that they were a karmic and not on the up and up, not right with the shits as you were, as you are. So this is saying, bingo, bango, I'm getting you what you ordered to your right proper specifications and that's an upload that i just got right now in this moment as i'm talking about that but that ace of cup goes hand in hand with this coming as well okay um it feels like both financial stability and a new relationship come in at the same time which we predicted like months and months ago so it feels like it's finally here um anything else last but not least with this ace of cup um I do think it's two separate blessings because, again, this Ten of Pentacles speaks to family and legacy. Okay, so that means that there will have to have to be a, another kind of partner there. Um, anything else here, Spirit, with this Four of Cups? Did I miss anything? I'm pretty sure I took care of it all. Yeah, I think that's it. We're left with the Ace of Cups. Let's just see anything else with this Ace of Cups here, Spirit. Yeah, manifestations, it feels like the ship's coming in because this character's been coming across as the manifestation rushing. When he's in the reverse, slow down, pump the brakes, stop, means it's docked is how I've been uh, reading this, right? It means that this manifestation is now docked, like a ship docking into harbor. All right, Ace of Sword, this is another Ace. We're channeling Ace of Cup, Ace of Pentacles, Ace of Sword, World Card, Ten of Pentacles, Stability, Knight of Pentacles. You, your fucking blessings and ships are here. They're literally docked and loaded and unloading. I would not be surprised if you saw all this start to manifest within by the end, uh, you know, within the next four weeks. That's what this represents. I would say even sooner for some. It, yeah, it's going to start rolling in within the next week. I can almost guarantee it. It feels like Ace of Swords in the upright. This is truth, clarity, victory, crowned, right? The spiritual crown after we had the ego death and knocked off the crown here with all this stuff here. The resurrection, right? This is Christ across crucifixion, right? Jesus, Barnabas, and the other guy. All right. After this, after it's dead, it's Jupiter sign. This is Saturn in the reverse. It means Jupiter. Jupiter is the growth, expansion, resurrection. Jesus, fish, Pisces energy, all that stuff. So this is now you get the spiritual crown here. This is also the divine, and these are uh hebrew this means these are called yods those are god's gifts or blessings here remember we said the golden background we know for sure are uh, in the tarot means uh blessings so this is a, a double stamp there that this is and it could be even informing the fact that there's 
one set, two set? What do we say? One set, two set because it was so juicy and big coming in, bringing in the financial prosperity and the romantic prosperity. I'm running out of time. I'm going to keep on rolling this over to Aries. Holler for more.